Hey guys, Max Scovel here for Rev3 Games, and I'm at the very, very tail end of E3 2013, and I'm in a very quiet hallway next to The Witcher 3's demo booth. I got to go in there and see a good 45 minute presentation about The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Uh, this is an incredibly anticipated game. I know that a lot of people are really hardcore excited about what CD Projekt Red is doing next. And the best thing I can tell you right now is that if you look at the differences between The Witcher 1 and The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings, uh, that's about the same amount of difference between The Witcher 2 and The Witcher 3. This is an entirely just breathtakingly impressive, gigantic new game. Uh, I hesitate to use the word epic because I think people who overuse the word epic are just absolutely obnoxious. However, this is definitely an epic of a video game. Uh, what they've got here is an open world. Uh, it is apparently 35 times the size of The Witcher 2 in terms of just exploration. And uh, they promise to have it full of things happening there. There's lots of side quests, lots of random encounters. And of course, there's a dynamic weather system the whole time. Uh, there are boats, which is something that I feel like has been rather absent from fantasy open world games. While exploring the game, uh, at one point, Geralt sort of was, uh, was wandered up to a, a set of ruins. It was like, oh, there are ruins. Let's go see if there's treasure there because it's, you know, it's a fantasy game. That's what you go and you, you do. Uh, while there, we ran across a fiend, which basically looked like a, like a really big, terrifying jackalope is the best way I can describe it. And it has this ability where it sort of uh, stares you down and basically blinds you. And it's, I mean, it's the size of, a, it's the size of an elephant. So you kind of have to lead it out into open, open range where you can attack it from long distance using, using spells or in the case of... Uh, Geralt uh, signs. Uh, one thing that's new is he can, uh, you know, he can still do his um, his his fire spell, except uh, now it's much more of like he holds it down. He can just basically wash over enemies. It's not just one fireball burst. Uh, and of course, the enemies do get set on fire, which is pretty metal. <laughs> One side quest had him kind of going into a village that had recently been sort of plagued with, uh, with murders from this, this vengeful forest spirit that uh, the elders of the village had been worshipping. And uh, sort of the younger, younger members of the village wanted to uh, actually get rid of this thing, this, this harmful force. So Geralt, of course, had to go and investigate using his kind of his, his witcher's sense, uh, go further into the forest and find traces of this creature and then consult his bestiary and find out that it was a, a thing called a leshen, which is basically, uh, you know, like an ant from Lord of the Rings, except if it had like a terrifying deer skull on its for a head and, and was surrounded by a flock of crows which it could disappear into a puff of smoke and then fly away like um so of course uh this being a magical beast had a certain number of uh of um circumstances that caused it to exist uh it had totems that which, uh, Geralt had to go around and destroy that were sort of a source of its power. And on top of that, one of the townspeople was actually marked by the Leshen, and therefore uh, Geralt had to go and convince the townspeople that this marked individual was, of course, causing the, uh, the Leshen to have more power and that they should probably kill that particular person. Of course, convincing the townspeople that in order for them to uh, get rid of this monster that's plaguing them, they have to kill one of their own, is a kind of a big moral decision. So it's not just a gray area in terms of what Geralt has to do in the story. It's also... Um, you know, it's going to affect other characters in the game. <sighs> Good lord. Talking about open world fantasy RPGs is, is, is quite difficult. Again, I want to, I want to just drive home. This is, uh, this is a very impressive game. It was my pick of the show for E3 2013. I'm really excited to play this. Uh, for people who are new to the Witcher series, maybe you, uh, maybe you haven't played the first two, uh, they've said that that's actually okay and that this is designed for people who are new to the game to be able to go in and enjoy it. But if you are a fan of the Witcher games or beyond that, the books, then there's plenty for that to enjoy. Uh, if you want to know about Cyberpunk 2077, I asked them and they were extremely tight-lipped. I'm trying to do my job, guys. I want to know about it, too. They had this one gun there on display, but beyond that, all they could tell me was, it's fucking awesome. Anyway, this is one of my last videos for E3 2013. I've had a great time here, and you guys should go check out the rest of our coverage right here on Rev3 Games. We've been doing a lot of things, and I think you should go watch the videos we made about them. I'm Max Scoville. Take it easy. Thank you.